assalamu alaikum today we're going to discuss what is food bond illness so once you read this term you're going to know what actually it is so as it states as food bond illness it means the illness that is caused due to the food although food is the source of energy and it's a basic necessity of the life but the problem is it may sometimes contain some of the so harmful substances that may lead to the illness so illness caused by the consumption of the food containing pathogenic microbes most of the time it is due to the presence of the pathogenic microbes that may be bacteria virus fungi or parasites there may be also other possibilities that may lead to the illness due to the food for example incorporation of the heavy metals or plastics but today we are only going to discuss the illness due to the microbes so it may be of two types either it's an infection either it's a intoxication okay. when we talk about the infection it is due to the presence of the live microbe that may be present in the food and is ingested by a human being and that live microorganism is capable to cause a disease but when we talk about food intoxication it happens when a microbe is going to produce the toxin on the food and those toxins are responsible for causing the disease so it's a slight difference in be- in between these two terms uh, if we talk about the food infection we have an example of campylobacter jejuni and when we talk about the food intoxication we have a uh, example of mycotoxins that are being produced by fungi or uh, when we talk about bacteria we have the example of bacillus cereus so these are some of the example of food infection and food intoxication So let's see what WHO has to say on the outbreaks of the food borne illnesses. So there is a publication and that publication collected the data from 2007 to 2015 and it states that about 600 million people are affected due to the food borne illnesses and out of those point approximately 0.4 million may lead to the death. And the most problematic thing uh, you can find out in this studies that these numbers are likely an underestimation and it is stated by the WHO and it's very much possible you know that uh, when we are talking about uh, underdeveloped countries most of the cases are not documented or even not diagnosed so it's a great possibility that these numbers are way far from the actual reality of the picture so we need to know what are the common causative agents of causing the food borne illnesses so cdc states that the these to- are the five top uh, are the causative agents of the food borne illnesses it includes the norovirus salmonella clostridium perfringens campylobacter staphylococcus aureus and they are also include some of the other bacteria that are capable to cause the diseases and those are clostridium botulinum Listeria, E. coli, and Vibro. Now let's talk about what are the possible reasons of this growing problem all around the world. So globalization is contributing to this problem, one of that. Although it uh, has put up a lot of advantages to the human beings, uh, but the one uh, problem is there that uh, once the globalization uh, is getting its elevation, and there is also increase of the trade practices so once the trade practices has been increased there is a lot of possibility that there may be a loss of control on the surveillance system and uh, on on the monitoring system due to the uh, pressure build ups of uh, growing trade practices and it may result in an outbreak of a disease similarly now you can see that the uh, food products are produced for a longer period of a shelf life and again it's a benefit but the darker side of this uh, problem uh, bacteria is also getting enough time for the proliferation within such kind of the food and even they are getting enough time to get immune another reason uh, for this growing concern is a change in our lifestyle now you can see that most of the time we are dependent on the ready to eat foods or on the uh, from the restaurants or from the street vendors uh, the problem is that we are not certain about their hygienic uh, standards and usually they are highly contaminated with the microbes and that's why the outbreaks of the food borne illnesses are really getting very common so that's all for today inshallah we will be coming up with more stuff with like that that are 
related to the food safety and how we can prevent them. Stay tuned, stay safe. Allah Hafiz.